Hey guys, let's take a look into our zipline add-on. Let's try to implement the zipline components into another character. So first thing, you need to have a third-person controller, at least the basic locomotion version. And uh, let's import the package here. Um, very important, we don't need the project settings that comes with. If you import the project settings, it will it will override the our tags, our layers, our um, matrix layers, um, input settings, pretty much everything we need in order to the third person controller to work. So uncheck this. We only need the folder add-ons, zipline, um, controller, animation, audio, prefab scripts, only zipline content. Okay. Let's take a look into our demo scene. And you can see here that we have a player already set up. You can simply uh, hit play and go zipline. So uh, you can check our prefab here. Player. We have a V comment uh, saying to copy and paste the zipline subset machine, right? In order to the character uh, plays the, play the animation. So this is this in vector zipline. We have a it's pretty much a copy of the basic locomotion with a new state machine into the actions called zipline. So you, you will copy this uh, substate machine and paste into your own controller, right? Right, so let's take a look. Okay, you can jump and exit. You can exit at any moment as well by pressing a um, exit zip line. In this case, is the space, and you can use a input to enter the zip line as well. If you uncheck this use button here, and uh, the character will automatically enter the zip line. Okay, so let's create a new character here. Let's pick up the red one base locomotion and base camera cool bring up here and let me copy this component and paste it here so they are in the exactly same spot it's easier let's pick up the Copy the component, supply an action, paste into your new character. Here we go. Now the events. Uh, in this case, there is nothing inside the player. So you don't need to worry about that. And let's delete my old player. And oh, of course, we need to have the zipline. Copy this one. Select our new player, actions, base here. Just make a exit transition to our locomotion or airborne. Yeah, because we can um, exit the zipline at any moment. So it's grounded, false, it goes to airborne. It's grounded true. Actually, yeah, let's, let's make this. Um, it's grounded, true. I think it's, it's hard to exit the zipline and it, go, it goes to grounded instantly, but it, it can happen, right? So let's take a look. I keep new character. Let's jump here. Perfect. I can exit. Yep. All right. 
<laughs> it's simple as that. And in here, our zipline, we have basically a tag zipline, right? Layer triggers and a box collider. <clears throat> All right. Inside, we have anchor point. This is pretty much the length of your of your zipline. So, for example, if I jump into here, I can grab a anchor point and start doing my zipline from here. Let's take a look. Uh, I think it will work. Let's see. Whoa. Yep. Great. Well, that's it, guys. It's pretty simple to set up the zipline components. It's copy and paste components, copy and paste the subset machine, and that's it. You can change the effects, you can change the animations if you want. Um, there is a debug mode here. It's pretty useful. Uh, player initiates the plan, player is using, player exits the plan. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about it. You can email us at any time, you can post it in the forums. And that's it. See you later. See you next time, guys.